Hi, I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and commentary you know, on injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention uh, in sports and exercise for athletes and active people, probably much like yourself, so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Now, one of the things I see, I can't tell you how many times I see this in my practice. I bet I've seen this very scenario 10 times in the last month or so uh, in my office are people that get hurt training uh, for a big race or big event or maybe they're trying to lose weight maybe they're just trying to get in shape uh, for bikini season actually one of the gyms that i used to belong to actually had a bikini boot camp every spring to kind of get people in shape for uh, you know, have good bodies for their bikinis, it's true. Um, but again, I see so many people that get hurt training for events or trying to really quickly lose weight. And the underlying factor in the injury is almost always trying to do too much too soon. They ramp up their training really quick. Their body can't withstand that increased stress. They don't give themselves enough time for their bodies to recover from each individual training session. So they suffer an overuse injury, be it a stress fracture or you know, some other overuse injury that then shuts them down for a few weeks or six weeks, or maybe they even need surgery and yes, they end up missing their race, or um, they're out of commission, they can't lift weights for six weeks, or um, yeah, they can't play in the state tournament or run um, you know, in a track meet for their school, whatever the sport or whatever the exercise, it's really disappointing. And they're so uh, upset, so disappointed. And one of the questions that I get is, what could I have done differently? So that's what I want to talk about today. And that's this idea that you want to uh, increase training slowly to basically avoid an overuse injury. There's a common rule, you've probably, uh, I've written about this on my website and I'll discuss it here, um, this rule of thumb, the 10% rule. And I know you can send me messages. I, every time I bring it up, I get somebody that will email me saying, hey, there's no science behind it. There's no studies to prove it. And this, there's probably some truth to that, quite honestly. But the 10% rule is a good rule of thumb to guide how you're gonna train for a big event, but do it safely and not you know, ramp it up real quickly, get hurt, and then you're out of commission. This rule is really easiest to explain for jogging, for running essentially, but I'll explain it really and how you can um, apply it to things like lifting weights or swimming or, or things like that. So let's say that you wanted to train for a marathon and you don't run much at all right now. Like you maybe are a beginner, you run maybe three miles a day, you know, a total of 10 miles a week. The chances of you increasing your training and running that marathon three months from now are not really good. If you don't run at all and you know a month from now want to run a 10K, it may be the same type of thing. You want to basically increase slowly, give your body enough time to adjust. So I like the 10% rule. Basically, if you run, let's use 20 miles a week for instance, and so that's what you run this week, and you want to increase that for the next week and keep going up and up. So 10% of 20 is two miles. You can increase going into week two by two miles. So instead of 20 miles per week, you go to 22 miles a week. And then basically it increases 10% there. And the thought again is your body sort of adapts to that increased stress, but it's not a significantly increased stress. Body recovers, gets stronger, and you avoid an injury. Now, um, if you wanted to say, all right, now how long will it take me to ramp up my training to be ready for a marathon? You basically look at the date of the marathon, you see how where you are now, if it's 10 miles a week and you do the math, 10 miles next week would be 11 miles, then what would be 12.1? You basically increase till you get to your desired number and then you figure out how many weeks it takes you to get there. Now, as I said, you can use this same philosophy with all kinds of exercise. If you lift weights or wanna lift weights and you haven't done it in 20 years or maybe you've never done it at all, probably not a good idea to you know, get on the bench press, put tons of weight on there, start you know, just pounding away and going at it like you know, you've done it every day of your life. That's gonna just lead to a recipe for failure. Same thing, start slowly. Low weights, low numbers of reps, low numbers of sets, low numbers of exercises, and you gradually increase as your body gets used to the demand. This is true no matter what it is you like to do. You gradually increase to basically get your body ready for that stress, but you don't increase it so fast that your body can't heal from any individual workout, especially multiple workouts in a row where those stresses build up and then you get hurt. Now, have you 
basically suffered an overuse injury and you know was it related to training and doing too much too soon or what do you think about this do you have any other suggestions on ways people can safely increase their training whatever the event it is that they're training for but do it in a way that minimizes the risk of overuse injury I'd love to hear your thoughts so below this video share them I'd love to hear your recommendations or your experiences if you've had an overuse injury and maybe it can help other people basically fighting the same problem now if you like videos like this and you want more information on injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention in sports and exercise subscribe to my video channel I record a couple of these videos every single week and they get delivered directly to you and last go to my website drdavidgeyer.com I share so many different resources audio video written resources about ways to stay healthy and perform your best whatever your sport or exercise and I only share those by email they're completely free so again all you need is your name and your email address and I'll get those to you on a regular basis I look forward to connecting with you uh, actually that way thank you so much for watching I hope this was helpful I actually really enjoyed this I think it's a a problem I see all the time so I really hope it was helpful and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.